there is a sort of, I don't get it now, but I used to get it a lot. It's like post-album blues. Because you were with these people and you, you, know, you developed your own language, you had your common jokes and you had the looks across the room and you'd, you'd find something funny or titillating or frustrating and you'd, you'd understand each other and your own little in-words and in-jokes and suddenly you, all that is split up and you, th you feel a bit lost and suddenly you got to go home and say, oh, hello, remember me? Uh, uh, and it, it, it was always a period of, you know, good few days, maybe a week or so, of post-album blues, you think, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing these guys, I'm missing, I'm missing what we had. So there was always a sort of, a, always a sort of tristesse at the end of an album, oh, that's it, you know, during the album you think, I want to get this bloody thing finished, I want to get it finished, 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 all right, let's get all the mixes done, let's get it mastered, let's get it out, let's say goodbye. And you do it, and you think, and you start racing to the finishing line, you do it. Think, oh, what am I going to do today? Because it's a sudden cut-off point. One day you're working on the album. It's not a gradual. It's not like stopping smoking gradually. It's cold turkey. It's done, and somebody else is in your studio, the studio that had been home for three months or two months or a week or however long it took. You know, with all your stuff in there and people's stuff and the instruments lying around, it's suddenly gone. I mean, the social aspect, the sociological and personal sort of intercourse and aspects of, of making an album is fascinating. It is fascinating. Uh, 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 so as well as the musical and the technical side of that, I mean, I, d I do love, even though you said that maybe I was a bit curmudgeonly, I, I do love being with people and I do, lo I do love those relationships, those intimate relationships with music and musicians in particular. I mean, what is interesting well, I, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting because we think similarly. <sighs> I, I did quite a bit of work with the film director, Peter Greenaway. He's a really interesting man, and I like him. And he also loved the process of making the film. The actual film wasn't particularly important to him, but he loved being the set designers, the cameramen, the light designers, the carpenters, the painters, the technicians, the actors, the actresses, everything to do with making the film he loved. The actual, and he'd work really hard and he'd try and make the best film he possibly could. But when the film was done, he, he didn't really hold that much interest for him. And I feel similarly, I feel very similar to that. I, I love the process of making the thing. And it's a bit like a chef, you know, you, may, you he or she may, may work, work very hard putting all the ingredients in and making a beautiful meal, but because you've smelt everything, you've tasted everything, the last thing you want is to eat that meal, actually, because you know that meal inside out. You think, I'm not hungry, I'd rather have a, I don't know, a bacon sandwich or something, or, you know, just a cup of tea or a glass of whiskey. 